the Bono Regional Police Command has interdicted three police officers at the Serkwa Police Station for their alleged involvement in the death of a 48-year-old man in custody. Abu Nepa is believed to have been brutalized to death by the officers who then secretly buried him. The deceased had been arrested for smashing the windscreen of a vehicle belonging to the manager of the in Kranman Rural Bank. The interdicted officers who were caught on tape exhuming the corpse of the deceased are said to have denied causing his death. But the family of Abu Nepa is challenging their accounts and questioning why the officers would want to secretly exhume the body. I can say police for no kuno no se ni pa se eso abaka hwehwe se ka hwehwe na wa bo a adenti na obedi mu nsam adechi a no wa wu na mo akasan kosan kosi no se enya mo na ho he na kuno enenti e na abusi ana ka se e mu police for no na kuno asama e wo ho no because enya mo na mo kuno se this year be be wu mu nsam ana so feel ba bi kwa na obeto ho no wu mu nsam a adenti e na mo mfa na nti ba bi the police claim our relative broke the windscreen. How come he wasn't found dead the next day? We believe the police officers killed him and went to bury the body. Even if it wasn't the police that killed our relative, why will they not look for the family members to inform them about his death rather than go to bury the corpse? We have the video and the picture evidence from some young men who witnessed the police officers burying the body. By the time we got to the area where the body was buried, they again exhumed the body to conceal the evidence. The police later deposited the body at the morgue on the Sunyani Highway. Muti se abusia no ate se mo chi omo de xe o se kwa mo de mrike ba e de mrike ba duro ho na mo tu amu na akọ Bono Regional Crime Officer of the Ghana Police Service, Superintendent Kennedy Edusei, described the action by the police as regrettable and says the matter is being investigated. There are a lot of uh, there are people involved. I've mentioned uh, Abi, I've mentioned uh, Obi so please once we are here i think updates will be given in due course let's make sure we do everything right to make sure justice prevails because this is an era of human rights and we will not sit down for any human being to sit on anyone's fundamental human rights. No. We will do our possible best and make sure justice prevails. We should have known better by preserving the body and the monastery for autopsy. The here of the case, the opposite happened. To him, one opening a suman, the second, the Achame Hene of Sefa, together with Father Boys, assisted him, had a place, dug a grave, and buried him. In that, he's a pauper, and that keeping him at the mortuary would be a burden on them. Joining me via Zoom for more is Edmund Foley, who is a human rights lawyer and the director of programs at the Institute for Human Rights and Development Africa. I'm grateful for your time, uh, Edmund. Uh, this raises issues of police accountability and, of course, an independent body to investigate issues of this nature. But this issue, sincerely, has been overflogged. How do we handle this going forward? Thank you very much, my dear sister, and good evening from a rather warm uh, Banjul, the Gambia. 
in, I agree with you that we have um, flogged this issue of police accountability. I started working on police accountability issues from as far back as 2005. And it is sad that we, we are hearing this story. I don't recall that we have heard um, such an infraction in our history that the police were expected to have known better have come to this point. But I think um, the admission by the uh, Bono East uh, crime officer that some uh, wrong has been done is a first step. From a human rights perspective, I think I would like to send the message clearly that the state has a duty to investigate. When it comes to um, such extrajudicial killings, international human rights norms place an obligation on the state to investigate. The duty to investigate will not only end at the independent body. The police has taken the first step. I expect that this matter would also go to the uh, Professional Standards Bureau. But beyond that, the end result needs to be known by the public. We've had many investigations into police misconduct, and we don't know where they have ended. So it is important within the context of the duty to investigate that this issue, the state would give the citizenry a result as to what has happened to those officers. We just can recall this week the end of the trial of um, Derek Chauvin in the United States and see the public nature of the, um, the trial and sending the message to all the world that such conduct would not be countenanced. And so we should not only just hear about the interdiction, we should see the end result of this matter. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful, Edmund Foley. He's a human rights lawyer and the director of programs at the Institute for Human Rights and Development in Africa.